What's up guys? It's MB Boxing and today I'm going to be predicting the outcome of Johnny Beck Alim Kanala versus Vincenzo Gualtieri and this is going to be a 12 rounder for the unified WBO and IBF middleweight world championship and this fight is going to be Saturday October 14th from the Fort Bend Community Center in Rosenberg, Texas and this fight is going to be broadcasted on ESPN, ESPN Plus or on the ESPN app. And to again, both fighters' resumes, Johnny Beck, Alim Kanala, fighting out of Kazakhstan, holds a record of 14 fights with 14 victories, no defeats, with nine wins coming by way of knockout. He is currently ranked number six by box rec in the middleweight division. I personally think he should be ranked higher. And he is the former interim champion as well as the current WBO world middleweight champion. And to list some of his best victories, he has some solid ones. He defeated former WBA champion Rob Brandt by corner stoppage after eight. He defeated former champion Hassan Nadam by TKO after eight rounds. He has a unanimous decision victory over Denzel Bentley over 12. That was sort of an unimpressive fight for him. He also has a KO win over two rounds, picking up the interim title at the time over Danny Dignam. And in his most recent fight, he came back and had a more impressive performance than his Bentley fight, where he knocked out former world title challenger Steve Butler in two rounds. But to get on his opponent's resume, Vincenzo Gualtieri, fighting out of Germany, holds a record of 22 fights with 21 victories, no defeats, and one draw, with seven wins coming by way of knockout. He is currently ranked number eight by Boxrec in the middleweight division. And I think that's right around where he should be ranked, like number eight, number nine in the division. And he's the current IBF middleweight world champion. So when this fight was announced, um, I was very, very interested in it, obviously. And um, Vincenzo Gualtieri, like I said before, he's the IBF middleweight champ. And he's very, very unknown. I'll get into his resume right now and how he became champion. But first, uh, to list his draw, he does have a majority draw over 10 rounds against Thomas uh, Pekir Eo, sorry if I pronounced his name incorrectly, um, but he also has some victories um, that are somewhat solid. He has a majority decision win over 10 rounds over Alexander Pavlov, a unanimous decision victory over Billy Fasundo Godoy, and he also has a unanimous decision win over Vincenzo um, Be Bevilacqua. And sorry if I pronounced his name as well incorrectly, um, but obviously his best win uh, where he won the middleweight world title uh, when it was vacant at the time after Triple G uh, vacated it. Uh, he defeated Esquiva Falcao, dropping him in that fight by a clear and pretty much wide unanimous decision. I thought he was going to lose that fight, and I thought Falcao was going to get the victory. Uh, Gualtieri was very, very unknown going into that fight. Barely anyone knew who he was. I never heard of him prior to that fight, and... Um, yeah, he won and was a much, much better fighter than Falcao and had a much, much better game plan in that fight. And he defeated Falcao, like I said before. And the thing to note is that Gualtieri in his last six fights has gone 12 rounds. So, I mean, he's gone a ton of rounds in his past couple of fights and his gas tank is definitely very solid. But in my opinion, like I said before, this is a very, very intriguing and interesting fight. We have two champions that are somewhat unknown to the like public boxing eye um barely anyone i would say that's outside of hardcore boxing fans knows who johnny beck is and especially gualtieri some hardcore boxing fans barely even know who gualtieri is myself included so i mean it's just a very very interesting fight between two relatively unknown world champions in the current state of boxing and um I'm actually fairly excited for. I like these fights between these two like European style fighters, and I think it should be a uh, interesting one. It's kind of odd that these two European fighters are fighting in Texas as well. Um, but hopefully these guys can get some of their fans out there from Kazakhstan and Germany, respectively. But in my opinion, uh, I'm just gonna say this first. I think Johnny Beck's going to get the victory here, but it could be um a bit closer than I think it will be. Um, but I think Johnny Beck will ultimately get a stoppage in this one, if I'm going to be honest. But if Gualtieri's chin is better than I think and better than I think he he will be able to hold up in this fight, then he could make this fight somewhat competitive, um, if I'm going to be 100% honest. But just to break this fight down round by round, Johnny Beck, um, 
He's got very solid power, and um, he's just a very, very good fighter. I mean, that's just one way to describe him. He's the next up-and-coming Kazakh middleweight world champion since Triple G. There's also other world-ranked Kazakh fighters like Miriam Nursultanov um, and Triple G and now Jani Beck, um, three top-tier Kazakh fighters somewhere high up in the ranks in the middleweight division now. And um, yeah, middleweight right now is sort of a dead division, one of the worst divisions in boxing right now. The two top guys, Triple G and Jamal Charlo, have been relatively inactive. Triple G's pretty much close to retiring, I would say, and Jamal should be stripped of that title. And it's good that these two are going at it and unifying in a weight class that needs some sort of just revival. And um, when it comes to this fight, I think the earlier rounds in this one could be pretty interesting. I think Gualtieri could get off to a somewhat decent start. Um, but I feel like um, Johnny Beck early is usually a very, very tough force, if I'm going to be honest. So even though Gualtieri is known for starting out pretty strong and he might be able to start out strong here, I really feel that Gualtieri is going to really try and just make it through these first couple rounds. He's a primarily boxer puncher type fighter likes to counter a bit off the outside he keeps his hands down which is something interesting for Gualtieri but he primarily keeps his hands down moves his head goes on the outside throws some wide punches um but he's uh, just a boxer he likes to fight on the outside score points in his opponents and that's why he only has seven knockouts in his 21 wins but um in the early rounds I think Jenny Beck's gonna try and possibly get Gualtieri out of there and end this unification early but I don't think that's going to happen um, but I think after the first four rounds Gualtieri might be able to edge one of them just by having some skilled boxing so it could be like 39-37 possibly 40-36 to in favor of Jenny Beck but then I feel like after four Jenny Beck will start to slow it down a bit and start to pick his punches and really figure out that okay Gualtieri is not a bad fighter um and that he's much, much more durable than he thought at first. And I think he's going to slow down the pace. And that could pave the way for Gualtieri to start to win a few of those rounds um, that maybe Jenny Beck is off in. He could just outbox Jenny Beck a bit because, like I said before, he likes to fight on the outside and score points like that. So I think that rounds five, um, six, and seven could be somewhat interesting, could be somewhat competitive. And I think that after the first half of this fight, it could be 59-55, 58-56, in Jenny Beck's favor. And then obviously in that second half, like seven, eight, and nine, I think Jenny Beck will start to pick it up a bit, if I'm going to be honest. Uh, Gualtieri, like I said before, one-dimensional type fighter, just has that one style he fights with on the outside. Um, but I think Jenny Beck will start to pour on the pressure like I think he will in the first couple rounds. And I think that Gualtieri, despite having very, very good stamina, um, I don't really, really think, um, I don't really think Gualtieri is going to tire out in this fight or get broke or get, I don't think he's going to tire out because of his own work and I I don't necessarily think his movement's going to make him tire out because like I said before he's gone 12 rounds in his last six fights and he's pretty much been in good condition in all those fights so I don't necessarily think that's going to be an issue but I think the main issue will be Jenny Beck's work and I think that he'll start to land heavier shots on Gualtieri in those later rounds and I think that Gualtieri He's never really faced a fighter like Jenny Beck and with the power of Jenny Beck. And I think that those later rounds, specifically from rounds like 9 through 12, could pay dividends for Jenny Beck. And I think that he will get Gualtieri out of there. Could be a corner stoppage, could be a standing stoppage, could be a knockout. Any of those ways, I think that Jenny Beck will get his 15th victory and 10th knockout in this one. But leading up to the stoppage, let's say after 8 rounds, it could be like 78, 74 in Jenny Beck's favor or something like that. Like, I think Jenny Beck will be up clear, but I think Gualtieri could win a few rounds. Um, but yeah, if you made it this far in the video, comment down below who you think is going to win in this one. I think Jenny Beck. Um, but yeah, more on how I see this fight finishing. It'll probably be in those later rounds, in my opinion. And I think that leading up to the stoppage, Jenny Beck will be up clear. But like I said before, Gualtieri should win a few rounds. Uh, so overall, I believe that Jenny Beck, Alim Kanala will become a unified world champion as I think he will retain his WBO title and pick up Vincenzo, Vincenzo Gualtieri's IBF title with a late stoppage victory, primarily possibly around like nine rounds nine through 12. And yeah, that's really it. I'm MB Boxing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.